So this is for the new Total Dissolve Solids or Hardness Kit. Right, it comes with three solutions and I've labeled the sides of them for your convenience. Um, there are two different experiments for this. We're only going to do the high range because we have very hard tap water here in San Bernardino. So the first step, it says fill the plastic measure tube to the top with sample. Okay. It comes with a little tiny tube, like a little cylinder. Fill it to the top with tap water or creek water, depending on what you are testing. Okay. Pour it right into this little container. Okay. And then you're going to, it says, or it's out of focus, add three drops of buffer solution. Okay. Again, I've already labeled it. So we're going to add three drops two, three, okay, three drops of buffer solution, swirl it to mix, okay, then step three says add one drop of hardness to indicator, swirl to mix, that's this red stuff right here, okay, please note that many of these chemicals are flammable, caustic, so proceed with caution, use all necessary protective gear when you're handling these chemicals and remind students to close them in between experiments. Okay. We do not need to keep these open. So swirl it around and it turns pink. Okay. Pink means we have hard water. If this were blue, it would mean we have soft water and we wouldn't need to continue. But because we have pink, okay, we're gonna to go to step four. Step four says add hardness three titrant reagent by drops. So essentially you're going to add this chemical right here and you're going to continue to add it until the solution turns blue and you're going to swirl between each drop. Okay, so I'm going to put in one drop and I'm going to swirl. Okay, and you're going to continue doing that until it turns blue. Okay, once you get the number of drops it takes to turn blue, you'll do your calculations in step five, very simple. Okay. And that is it.